As you can see, I'm in the ether, and I hope that's how you pronounce this place in Minecraft Java. And I'm gonna teach you in this video how to download and install this mod and how to fix any issues you might face along the way because this mod might be a little bit complicated to install, even though it shouldn't. So if you want to start enjoying the ether mod, don't forget to watch this video until the end so you can learn how to install everything. It's super, super simple. Let's get started with the tutorial. Now, step number one for downloading and installing the ether mod, and I hope that's how you pronounce it is to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, a written guide on how to download and install this mod. Feel free to read through the guide and look at the screenshots, but if you just want to follow along the video, all you have to do is to scroll down and click on download, this little button right here. Once you click on download, you will be redirected to the Ether website within CurseForge, where we're going to look at the Files tab, and we're going to look for the version that we desire. In this case, I'm going to click on All Game Versions, and I'm going to look for the most recent one, which is 1.20.1. However, the Ether team is active, so that means that this probably will be updated to 1.20.4, which is the most recent version of Minecraft, probably pretty soon. Anyways, all we have to do is, once we found the version that we want and we selected it, we're going to look down here and we're going to look for the mod loader that we want. As you can see, there's NeoForge. As of right now, the NeoForge also says Forge in here because they are cross compatible. Any Forge mod will work with NeoForge and vice versa. However, in the future, you might have two different instances in here, which will be the NeoForge and the Forge separately. That's in the future. However, right now we could use any of them for both of the mod loaders. In this case, we're going to be installing the Ether mod for Forge. So all we have to do is select the most recent one and click on download file. I'll redirect you over here, where after five seconds, your download will start automatically. In my case, it's going to ask me where to save the file, as you can see, but for you, it's going to download right away into your downloads folder. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller, just so we could see the file that we are downloading right here in our recent tabs. As you can see, there's the Ether mod right there. And what you're going to do after you download that file, drag and drop that file into your desktop. If you're using Chrome, wait for this little blue bar to go away. There we go. And drag and drop it into your desktop. Now we have the Ether mod. If you already have Forge or NeoForge installed, if you have watched any of my tutorials in the past, all you have to do now is drag and drop the Ether mod into your mods folder within your instance in your Minecraft launcher, either for Forge or NeoForge. And that's it. You have Ether working and you can go ahead and play using the Ether mod. However, I'm assuming a lot of you don't have either Forge or NeoForge installed. I'm gonna be showing you how to actually install one of those mod loaders. In this case, we're gonna use Forge. However, if you wanna use NeoForge, you could pretty much follow the same steps as I'm going to do right now. To download and install Forge, go ahead and click on the third link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, our written guide on how to download and install Forge. This is an in-depth guide on how to install Forge. You even have an index in here. Feel free to explore and read through the guide. However, if you just wanna follow along, go ahead and click where it says download Forge here. That will redirect you to the Forge website. In here, very important that we download the matching version for Forge as of Ether. Right now we have the 1.20.1 Ether, which is the most recent one. So as you might imagine, we're going to download 1.20.1 for Forge. Go ahead and click on 1.20.1 if you're downloading the same as me. If you are using a different version in the future, just find the right matching version as your mod. Once you're in the version that you need, go ahead and click on the installer. That will redirect you over here where you're going to wait five seconds again. And after five seconds, right here on the top right, you'll see a button appear labeled as a skip. Once the skip button has appeared, go ahead and click on it and that will start the download automatically. Again, in my case, it always asks me where to save it, but for you, it's going to download right away. Once you have that file, if you're using Chrome, again, you can find it here in your little download tab. If you don't have Chrome, I don't know, probably you can find the file in your downloads folder within your computer. Go ahead and drag and drop that file into your desktop as well. Now we have Forge, the installer, and we have Ether, the mod. We're pretty much ready to continue. And before we go ahead and continue, I have to let you know that these are jar files. Jar files are files that need to be run using a software called Java. I'm assuming 95% of you have Java installed. If you don't, however, I'm gonna leave this guide in the description on how to download and install Java. This is for those of you that don't have Java and won't be able to run these files, okay? So this guide will be in the description. It will be the fourth link on how to download and install Java 17. It's pretty in-depth. It's pretty easy to, to follow. And I'm also going to leave you a guide on how to download and run a jar fix, which you will probably have to do after you install Java in order to update all your jar files to be linked to your newest Java instance. And I say all of this because I just installed Windows 11, I just updated for Windows 10, and when I installed Windows 11, I didn't have any Java. So I needed to download Java before actually recording this tutorial so I wouldn't get stuck in this step. So if you manage or it happens that you get stuck in here, just install Java 17, run the jar fix, and you should be set. Anyways, like I said, that's for a small percentage of you. Most of you will be able to run all of these files, especially if you have watched my channel in the past and have already installed Java. 
All you have to do next is double click on the Forge 1.20.1 installer, make sure your Minecraft launcher is closed and then go ahead and double click on that installer. That will open the mod installer for Forge and all we have to do now is click OK and wait. And while Forge is installing in the background, I have to let you know about Apex Sourcing. If you want to create a server where you could use the Ether mod, you could even use the Ether mod pack. You could do anything you want in this server. This is a server that is hosted online 24 seven. So you're not even wasting your computer resources because this server is hosted online. Apex Sourcing will give you 25% off if you use the first link in the description. Something that I personally love about Apex Sourcing is that you could control the server console through your phone. So you don't even have to be at home to be able to access the console and control the server, change the settings, kick people out, OP people, whatever you want to do, you could do with Apex Hosting 25% off first link in the description and let's get back into the tutorial. And as we can see, Forge has finished installing and we know that Forge is installed because it literally says here successful install client. We're going to go ahead and click OK and we can now delete the Forge installer. Now you're going to go ahead and launch your Minecraft launcher. Just click on your Minecraft launcher and wait for your launcher to open. When your launcher opens, if you install Forge properly, you will see it selected here automatically. 1.20.1 Forge is right here. If that's not the case, you could head over to installations and make sure that modded is selected because if modded is not selected, we won't see the Forge installation. So make sure modded is selected. Also, another thing you could do in case that doesn't come up is click on new installation and where it says version, just find Forge in here. So you can see I have it right there. It's my third option. You can name this whatever you want and then click create and you will get a Forge instance right here. Anyways, let's say that you open the Minecraft launcher. You already have Forge in here. How do you add the mods? You might ask. Well, all you have to do now is head over to installations, click on this little folder that appears right here, which will open this folder in here. And this folder will have a lot of files, but you are looking specifically for a folder called mods, M-O-D-S. And as you can see, my mods folder is right here. However, if you don't have that mods folder, I'm going to go ahead and delete mine. You could always create it by right clicking, clicking new and clicking folder. In there, all you have to do is type M-O-D-S, type mods and create the mods folder yourself. Once you found that folder or created it, go ahead and open it and then drag and drop your ether file that we downloaded earlier and that matches our Forge instance into this folder. Now, if you have any other mods in this folder, you have to make sure that they are matching your Forge instance. For example, if you have Optifine 1.20.4 in here, it won't work with the Ether 1.20.1 mod. So you might have a crash when you launch your game. And actually might is a wrong word. You will probably have a crash. Your game will probably crash if you have two incompatible mods in here. So every mod that you have in this folder has to match the instance that you're going to launch and has to match the version. Anyways, we only have one mod in this case, so we are good. Now go back into your launcher, close that folder and you can launch your Forge instance 1.20.1 or whatever instance you have when you're watching this video. Once you're in the game, you know that you have the Ether mod installed because if you click on mods, we will see that we have multiple mods in here, including the Ether mod and some other mods that come with Forge and the Ether mod. And we're going to check that we have the Ether running by clicking on single player and joining a world. I already created this world earlier. I'm going to go ahead and click on proceeding here, saying that it has some experimental settings because this version of the Ether that we install is still in beta. However, in the future, you probably will have the full version, not the beta one already working. As you can see, I already have a portal for the Ether. In order to create a portal, all you have to do is the same way that you create another portal, but it, instead of using the obsidian, you're going to use, you're just going to use glowstone like this. Just go ahead and place it all like that. The same way you will make a portal for the nether and then put a water box in it and you're able to just go through it. As you can see, we're in the Ether. We could go back same way. If you had any issues, I read the comments and if I don't reply, somebody else might reply or somebody else might have the same issue as you and might have the answer. So, so feel free to comment if you have any issues. So don't forget to subscribe and as always, bye bye.